welcome back to my channel welcome back to my gift guide week today we are talking all things smaller more budget friendly stocking fillers maybe secret santa gift ideas within today's video so make sure you are set and ready with a nice cozy drink who recognizes this mug from yesterday's no it wasn't yesterday's video it's actually the video before that the gift guide for her yesterday I did for him but anyway yeah who recognizes this mug from anthropology mm. i'm sipping on um one of the mns spiced apple teas so if you don't know this week i'm doing a gift guide video every single day of the week so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos pop this mug down and jump straight into it before i show you some of the items i wanted to show you our stockings for this year now this is more of a sack than a stocking i will admit that however i do find that stockings fill up far too quickly so i thought i'd get us each a sack this year and this one is mine with the f and these are from Matalan. You may remember from my Matalan haul. They're 13 pounds each. So I've got one for myself, one for Tom and one for Barney. The number one thing that I always would recommend in some kind of a stocking or table place setting or even Christmas card is a scratch card. I absolutely love them. It's just that little bit of excitement for an affordable price point. You get, can get them from a pound up to like 10 pounds. I think you can even get them for like 20 quid now, but um, I've got a couple here. So I'm gonna save these and I'll scratch them off at the end of the video and we'll see if we're a winner. I did of course go for the, the Christmassy ones. I'm gonna kickstart today's video with a candle and I have this mini Scandinavisk candle. I never know how to pronounce this brand. I have this mini luxury candle. It's in the scent Snow. If you've not heard of this brand, they do some amazing scented goodies like even just i can smell it already this smells insane so this is like a mini version they do do larger candles i think their small candle which is i guess double the size of this is about 18 pounds the scent snow i thought was perfect for this time of the year nature's treasured light through the deep scandinavian winter a shining frosted blanket against the dominating darkness with the scent notes of frozen forest and frosted berries, the sharp, fresh breath of sub-zero skies. I had to include a candle, and I thought with it being a stocking filler gift guide, I would do a little miniature version. I was gonna include a lush bath bomb, which I think is a great gift idea for a stocking. However, I did come across this um, one in the body shop instead, so I thought I'd mention this one as an alternative. It's in one of their new Festive Scents Spiced Orange, which honestly smells incredible. They do like loads more products from shower gels to body exfoliators, the body creams. And this one is the Orange Vanilla and Cinnamon Spiced Orange Bath Bomb. But I did also pick up this to show you as well. And again, another cute little stocking filler gift idea or Secret Santa at £10. This one is a set of the new Wild Pine scent. This is the Pine and Divine Wild Pine Mini Gift. Wow, that's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> so in here you get the duo of a shower gel, a body butter, and then you also get like a body puff as well. So Wild Pine intrigued me in terms of a fragrance to have for your body. However, it, I would say it smells very like eucalyptus, fresh, minty, that kind of tea tree type smell. I try not to repeat myself too much in these gift guides so that if you did want to watch last year's gift guide videos, I'm not just saying the same things over and over again. However, I did mention something in a gift guide last year. I think it was in the gift guide for him about John Lewis doing bespoke quality street. They're doing it again, but a bit of a change up this year. So if you remember last year, I went for the luxury large John Lewis tin that you could have personalized. So I put Thomas Street and you could put whichever of the quality streets you want on the inside, as well as a new flavor exclusive to John Lewis. Well, this year they, they offer a cheaper cracker version at five pounds rather than having to buy the tin, which I think the personalized one, it was around about the 15 pound mark. Decided to fill ours with our favorite flavor, which is the, the orange crunch, this one. And then also the new flavor exclusive to John Lewis this year is called Honeycomb Crunch or something like that, which if you can see, looks identical to the orange crisp one, our favorite, but um, in the brown paper. And it is the very same kind of soft truffly center with little kind of crunchy pieces of honeycomb as opposed to orange. If someone loves the purple one, just do all the purple one or 
strawberry cream which is your favorite quality street is yours orange crisp as well like mine let me know this book is a very affordable but very sentimental gift idea i actually got this for tom one year for a valentine's day gift it's a book called what i love about you and you can personalize it i'm not going to read it out because it is personal um but this is only relative to couples so it's to your other half and that was about four pounds four or five pounds i found online from zara home they do a beautiful set of playing cards which especially if you're a card family card game family type family which we definitely are i even um i was at home last weekend and we were playing cards like we just can't help ourselves to get a nice gorgeous looking pack of cards like the Zara home ones I wanted to mention them this is something that I got as a Christmas gift last year actually and I thought I would include it in a gift guide because I have used it not loads but that's because I'm not that sociable but as and when I've been out and about it is really handy to have so if you're going out for an evening where you're dressing up you're taking your nice bag and when you get to the restaurant you don't want it you don't know where to put your bag you don't really want to put it on the floor you don't really want to hang it on the back of your chair you don't want to sit on it or put it behind you this is genius it's from aspinall of london this is a more luxury option but i will link a cheaper alternative below but essentially the way that it works you can actually get different colors as well i've got black you pop that on the table and it sits like that so that you can have a hook to hang your jacket or your bag next to you genius right in fact every time i've used it i've always had a comment from the waitress being like that's amazing i need one I saw this absolute gold dust of a chocolate item from M&S and I had to pick it up as a stocking filler gift idea. It is one of these chocolate topple towers, kind of pricey, I'm not going to lie. I think it was £8, which is a lot, I know. But you've got different tabs of the white chocolate vanilla, milk chocolate truffle, which I think is going to be amazing, and golden blonde salted caramel chocolate. So how nice do they sound got sent these a while back and i've literally put them to one side ever since i got them to save them for this video because i thought they were a perfect gift idea um so yeah i was sent these by filter by molly may and they are these satiny silky slip uh pillowcases in fact i say satiny they're not they're 100 percent mulberry silk so they are premium um, but what i particularly liked about these is the color of them i think when you're going for a silk pillowcase and if you're tanning hence the tanning brand then you don't want to ruin white silk pillowcases so to have them in a kind of goldy tan um neutral kind of color I thought that was really good so i had to include those similarly silk uh, scrunchies work really well i know slip do really nice ones there is one that i've seen on amazon which is one that you can put up into your hair and use at night to wrap your curls around to keep your curl so when you've got freshly curled hair you can essentially wrap it round wrap the curl around and then put it on the top of your head to sleep at night and it will keep the curl, which I thought was genius. So I'll leave that linked as well. But I thought I would also mention this from M&S. This is one of their silk eye masks. They've got all of their gifting out now already. You might have heard me talk about an author called Vex King before. He's got a couple of books out that I love for like positive vibes, manifestation. It's just a nice, easy read book that you can kind of pick up as and when and you don't have to follow it chronologically i don't think anyway well anyway vex king has bought out the good vibes good life 2023 calendar which i thought would be a nice addition to a stocking especially for someone who's maybe already got his book or is also wanting the book to get the this with the book and if i open it up to show you this is what it looks like it's like a flip chart type calendar and it just has some kind of quote or um, activity to do each day of the year so an affirmation for instance on wednesday july the 5th there is an affirm i am authentically unapologetically myself a little luxury item to include within a stocking yet at a reasonable price point from the winter company the winter company the 
and white company in the scent winter i've picked up this oil i always think these are a great addition to a stocking because they're nice and small and they're only 10 pounds i think you can get them a bit cheaper as well especially sometimes when they're out of season they go into the sale um i picked up the geranium one recently for like seven pounds but yeah these last so long you only need a couple of drops in like an oil burner or diffuser time for a little pit stop i thought whilst i was just having a sip on this tea i'd mention about maybe if you're buying for a starbucks lover or a costa lover to maybe buy them one of the mugs from the store and pop a little um gift card like a five pound gift card in there anyway back to it another idea that i wanted to mention is doing a kind of themed stocking if you're a bit of unsure of what to get or run out of ideas or buying for the person who has everything maybe make it a bit more fun with doing it as a themed stocking whether it be a particular color or an activity say that you're buying for a guy who loves golf you could get like some golf balls golf tees a golf mug and just have it themed another couple of things that i don't have to show you but i thought i would include and mention are um, obviously cozy socks is a given in a stocking in my opinion you've got to have a pair of socks at christmas why do guys hate socks i love getting socks but anyway cozy socks cashmere socks if you want to go a bit luxury i know tk maxx do a load of cashmere blend socks at a more affordable price but also maybe welly boot socks that's on my christmas wishes this year i asked my mum for maybe a pair of welly socks for my new hunter wellies that are shorter another thing i saw when i was scrolling through etsy is um like luggage stickers just to jazz up your luggage especially if you're buying for someone who's maybe a bit more into traveling or someone who's a bit younger a bit more adventurous also croc um croc what are they called charms as well i've got some which you may see in my pet gift guide video i also wanted to mention some handbag essentials that again are nice and small and sleek for a stocking this one is a gift that i received from tom's mum. i think it was two years ago now and it's a kind of travel brush from chanel which i just find so handy to have in my bag i also have a little mirror as well a little compact mirror so if you want to go luxury with like a chanel chanel or go more affordable i know b m do some um compact mirrors as well i think you can go really fun with personalizing gifts especially from places like etsy not on the high street you can find some real funny things so i've got these for my dad you can get these stickers which you can just pop on the um, cans and the bottle, which are personalized. How fun are they? They're literally a couple of quid. But I know Selfridges and places like that do branded items at more expensive price point for things like Toblerone, dairy milk, um, all sorts. A couple of mini beauty items that I thought I would include. Firstly, this from Living Proof. This is their dry shampoo. It's the perfect hair day dry shampoo, it's called. And it's got the advanced clean technology in which helps clean your hair when you use it as well so i really love this and they do this in miniature version again another smaller item to include the tan lux the face tan drops they do the body as well but obviously this one is a good size to just throw in a stocking and it comes like so it's like a little pipette bottle and you just pop a couple of drops of this within your moisturizer i use this all the time i've just run out of my other one so i've got a backup ready to go i bought this for a friend who is into her gardening and i just saw it in anthropology and i thought i'm gonna have to pick this up for her so it's a ceramic um seed box literally just pop any kind of packeted seeds in there and good to go ready for spring summer when she's flowering it's 14 pounds i got it in the sale for a fiver bargain and to go with that from a small business called roy and rose i got sent some lovely bits which i thought i would show you guys she does these little white handmade items which are personalized but she also does these which i thought i would show you guys at the same time because i'm going to pop these in that seed box for my friend the names of four different herbs there's thyme basil sage and mint they also do other things from um little stars and hearts and circle shaped jute hanging name placement so they could go on a table say if you're laying a table for um, your food and you want to wrap something like this around a napkin so if people have got a place to sit or if you want to use these as gift tags on people's presents i just think that added personalized touch is fabulous and i love it i've got this little one 
and my mum's gift, a little heart with mum just written on there. It comes with the jute as well. I picked up some circular ones as well with the names for table place settings for Christmas day for our Christmas dinner. Don't you just love Christmas dinner? But anyway, yeah, I'll leave Roaring Rose linked below, so make sure to check them out. For a beauty lover, in terms of makeup, the smallest items are always maybe their lip combo, if you want to include their favorite lip liner and lip, um, lipstick or lip gloss whatever it is they use i personally am a big fan of number seven nude lip liner it's just in the shade nude it's called and some kind of a lip balm so i thought i would show you this one because this is such a best seller i do like carmex but lana lips this is their multi-purpose super balm which you can use to treat your lips you can use as a bit of a lip balm on top of your lip liner and again with beauty another thing that will easily fit in a stocking is a face mask especially a sheet mask so i've been using these ones from pixie and um, the volume ones have been lovely they just feel so nice and the serum really soaks into your skin so um, it's got hyaluronic acid and peptides botanical collagen i always think it's a good idea if you get like a set of face masks or a set of anything actually and save a bit of money buy a set and split them up in between people's stockings or friends gifts and then another thing i used to love receiving as a gift i just think it's kind of a bit of a tradition or was a bit of a tradition for us when santa used to bring us our gifts our mum and dad used to buy us as a little gift a pack of thank you cards so that we were able to um write notes and write thank you cards to all of our friends and family members who very kindly um, sent us a Christmas gifts to just to thank them. Alongside that quality street, I did also find this in the supermarket, which I am so happy they've done. So they've done this in the purple one before and they do the strawberry cream as well, but I found it in the orange crunch. So it is a classic favorite for other people as well. Marks and Spencers are doing amazing gifts this year and good little stocking filler finds. You can go to the food section and find some bits. So I know they do like a, um, a glittery pink thing that you can add to like champagne and stuff in the drink section. I think that's about two pounds. I spotted these, which I thought I would pick up because I think they sound amazing, but also, for me personally, I'll get the use out of these ones. So mold fruit infusion pyramid tea bags. So again, the M&S spice apple tea I've been loving. So this one is apple cranberry and a hint of clementine. And then they also do this packet of mold spices. I know they do a mold wine for five pounds, um, but they, they, they do this spices kit as well. So you could buy the two together, especially if you're hosting or having people over to just have on the hob some mold wine on the go. I have some bits en route from the bottled baking company. I bought a few for um, a few different people for humans and dogs. They do do dog ones as well. But um, yeah, they are essentially like a bake in a bottle. I first saw them in John Lewis, but then ended up getting them from their website whereby they have loads of different flavored, bottled where you get all the ingredients included in the bottle and you just mix it together with whatever you need to mix it with and you're good to bake. I have this from GHD. So for someone who's into doing their hair, I thought a little narrow dressing brush, they call it like a teaser brush, would be a good stocking filler gift because it'll fit in there quite nicely. It's one of these brushes that you can really tease the roots of your hair with. So yeah, if you've not seen these before, you essentially just like tease the hair like that and it'll just create create a bit of volume. I mean, I'm doing this in the viewfinder, so it might not be very good. But yeah, I thought that would be a good gift idea to include. And then lastly, in terms of gifts for stockings, I have some incense sticks. These ones are from Zara Home in the white jasmine. They're lovely. But again, a good size to fit within a stocking are incense sticks. Jo, jo Malone. John Lewis do some, oh, Jo Malone should do some incense sticks. I feel like they would sell really well. So that's everything that I've got for my stocking filler gift ideas for this year. Let's do the scratch card now. If you do want any more stocking filler gift ideas, head back to previous years where I've got loads more options for you. Let's see if we're a winner. No win on the first scratch card. Let's try the second. We love doing these at Christmas, especially for like i said table play settings it's good fun to each have one and chances are i think when we have christmas there's maybe six to eight of us depending like year to year but there's always at least two maybe three winners my camera cut out because i was scratching for that long but i didn't win 
didn't win this time um, but yeah that is everything that I wanted to showcase to you guys for stocking filler gift ideas this year I hope you guys have enjoyed this video thumbs up if you have subscribed so that you don't miss out on my future uploads this week with lots more gift ideas coming your way thank you so so much for your support here on my channel and for watching and I hope to see you all in tomorrow's video bye guys <laughs>